It's my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel, the Zen Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yaku right here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to create 3D photorealistic manipulation like this using freeai2paint.com without any stress. So let's do it. But before we dive into the tutorial, if you're very new to this channel and you love a high content like this, consider to click on that subscribe, turn on notification bell. So each time I post a valuable content about a high, you'll be notified. So with that being said, let's dive into the tutorial and see step by step on how to create a photorealistic photo manipulation like this using free AI tools. So let's do it. Welcome back friends. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure you open up your browser. Then you come to the top right here and uh, what you need to do is to type in Bing and press enter. Then click on the first result right here, bing.com. This is going to pump out. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you come to the top right here, click on images. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on create. Now the next thing you want to do is that you need to come and click on join and create. Then click on sign in. Next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on create with any email or Gmail or phone. Next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on create one. So right here, there are different options you can use to create a free account with Microsoft. Next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on get a new email address. Then right here, enter your name. So after having entered your username, you come here, choose the option. Is that Outlook or Hotmail? So I'm going to leave it on Outlook.com. Then I'm going to come here and click on next. So the email is already assist. So let me add 2024. Then Outlook and I click on next. So at this point here, we need to enter the login password. So you have to create your login password. So after you enter your login password, next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on next. Then click on got it. Then right here, you have to enter your first name, your last name, then click on next. Then choose your country right here and choose your date of birth. Then choose your year. Then come down below right here. Click on next. Then the security question right here. So just click on next. So use the arrow to rotate the object to face the direction of the hand. One of five. Okay. Then click on submit. So use the arrow to rotate the object to face the direction of the of the hand. So we can use this one. Then we click on submit. So the same options. So this one here, this one here. Then we click on submit. Then we can use this one right here. Okay, submit. So the very last one. So we can use this one right here. Good, submit. So verification complete. So we can click on sign in to synchronize right here. Then enter your login password. Then click on sign in. Then click on next. Welcome back friends. So after you successful create an account with Microsoft Bing, next thing you want to do is to see how to create a text to image with, with Microsoft Bing AI. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure you come to the colon right here. Make sure you type in your prompt. And I'm going to put the tutorial prompt in the description of this video. So please check it out. So what I'm going to do next is to press Ctrl V to paste my prompt right here. So this is the prompt I'm going to use for this particular tutorial. Next thing you want to do is to make sure you come to create right here. So here is the result right here. So we can easily click and download any of the result right here. So let's for this time you want to download this one. We just need to click on the image and it's going to load up. So what we want to do is to come down right here and we make sure we click on download. Then we can slide from here to see another result. Then we click on download. Then we can slide again and check the last result and we click on download. It's as simple as that. For more AI content and prompt like this, consider to subscribe to the channel for more tutorial like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.